Welcome back. This is the third attempt at this video because the other times my camera did decided not to record. So it was a nice drive the other few days, but uh, well, it did decide to record. First time the filming was like there, up in the top of the car. And last time there was no sound. So hopefully, third time lucky, uh, we'll get a video out. So hopefully, anyway. But yeah, we're going to do our classic little drive around the country, talk about a few bits about the 197, and uh, yeah, just have a little bit of a drive. I forced them out the other day to get a few clips, so uh, I can add those into this video and make it a bit more exciting, which would be ideal. Make it more entertaining for you guys. Also, could, can use some of the clips I had the other day. Nice bit of kangaroo in. Uh, wait for it to warm up a little bit. And obviously there's no higher than six so i like this see R roundabout two lanes he's going right but he's in the middle of both lanes so what does that mean on the exit is he going to go bypass is he going to go straight over but he wants to go right he's chopped the roundabout and he oh he's going round perfect round a few of the country lanes where we're going to get a bit muddy after i clean my car but that's all right that's what it's there for hopefully you don't meet too many people around them because they're a bit tight and then we'll go past Heaven's Gate and Centre Parks and Longleat and all that and we'll do a few of the bypass. So just a little drive out, a little point of view video, plus some other external shots of the car and of the exhaust slid in there. So I'm actually really starting to enjoy this car. I like the little crackle. It's not really a backfire like a like a cr crackle map is, but it makes it a little crackle when you change gear. Um, which in which I enjoy. Makes me feel like a little kid. Still absolutely loving the gear stick. Really need to get that dog bone mount for the 182. That's something I need to order when I got a bit of, bit of time. I've ordered the cam mount kit and all that for this. I haven't really been driving it very much, hence why I haven't done any videos on it. I think it's been sat there for about two, three weeks now. So um, since the last time I filmed the video in it. <laughs> um, and yeah. It's nice to get out in it really, but yeah, I need to get the cam out done, so that's been ordered. Now, made sure I had enough money just after Christmas, and I've ordered that, um, so that should be delivered soon, and I only need to book it in um, and get all that done and replaced, because it is due right now, so. Age-wise, not mileage-wise, so. Perfect, dog walker. Is it fisherman? Good luck. And this bit goes to 60, which is ideal. But yeah, the general feel of the car, I, re I am really enjoying it. And if I could keep it and I could have both, I think I would, 100%. I still say that I need to get a more grown up car. Um, maybe like a McGann or something like that to have that as an excuse to get, but yeah. No. Funds are not there, unfortunately, but I'm really enjoying driving this one while I got it. And then hopefully I can enjoy my 182 again when it, uh, when it gets back to life. Which is manifolds, um, maybe a remap as well because the cold, when it's running on cold and even when it gets hot it's still sort of choking on itself a little bit so it would be nice to get that one done um, and sorted. And I keep looking at my black car wishing it was a colour but I don't know. I'm not sure what other colours in 182s I'm a fan of. I really like the racing blue in both this car and the 182. Um, but there's so many 182s, even even on like Instagram and stuff like that, everyone seems to have a uh, wrong gear. Seems to have a racing blue 182. So Inferno orange, not really a fan. I do like the petrol blue, but you're sort of talking close to uh, close to trophy money for that, and I'm not keen. This car, I do like the red, but we got some issues with paint colour in and stuff like that which is one thing I don't like about red cars I like the red accents like I'm going to be doing on mine the black and the red but yeah something about a whole red car always oh, gone now so I can go back. 
It's not about a whole red car with it, all the different panels, metal, plastic, things like that. They fade and it upsets me when the paint changes so much. Oh, nice load of mud, brilliant. Obviously, I don't know where you guys are from, but this country life, I like all the little small lanes and B roads and stuff like that around me, but no, not in winter time, not fun. And hopefully we don't meet any uh, trucks or tractors or anything like that. But these roads are a lot more fun than all the bypasses because you just sit there and you drone for ages. But we will be doing a uh, we will be doing a bypass at the end of this just to give it a bit of a go. Then I like to pop home, relax, play some card. I played on FIFA the other day. What a joke! If you guys are on Forza, I did do a little Forza video the other day, and I actually really enjoyed doing that, um, filming it and commentating over it and all that. If you guys are on there, feel free to add me. Um, and we'll have a little bit of a gaming session on Forza, get all the Cleos together, and I might be able to do some more, uh, well, and just general Renaults. Might be able to do some more uh, Renault videos on there. I don't know if you guys rev when you change down a gear, but I always feel like it engages the lower gear a bit nicer and you can get it going. You just feel so good. Ah, oh, even this car's making me smile now. I just always drop a gear on the corner. Just the noise from this Orica is just bad how it changes but like I said it is quite irritated over long distances but I think I'm getting used to it because last time when I drove to Swindon it wasn't so bad so yeah it's nice to get out and go for it a few bits of film around here with M the other day so I can stick a few bits of those videos in even on that gaming video it was quite nice to see the comments and stuff like that um, and I always appreciate you guys watching and I'd like to do some more meets and things like that when it comes to it and if you guys have any good meets that you go to I always say cafe machine I'd like to go to next year when it's nicer weather drag M up there with me but I think it's about an hour and a half away from me so not too bad I go there for another sort of breakfast meet got all the Hanes they're only 40 minutes away so they're ideal um, for me just to get there, get back before midday and enjoy the day. This little hangar here, I really want that little hangar just for, I don't know, cars, car working. Imagine a couple of little car, car lifts in there. That'd be quality. Go down around this little country bit as well. Just 
love it when people just like aren't at the junction, which is about another half a car off the top of the junction. <sighs> Come on. Almost like they want a bit of a run up, I suppose, if you're off the junction like that. But. We'll do a little roll in 10 to 70. Beamers are going bypass. Thank you.